All right, so I wanted to do a quick whistle stop tour around a bunch of highly successful direct to consumer websites. Some of these are clients of Webtopia, so I know that their sites are performing really well, that they've got really good conversion rates. And some of them are more famous D2C direct to consumer brands. So, what is direct to consumer? That means that they're a brand that's selling the product that they make directly to the consumer rather than um, being like a, a site like John Lewis that, that stocks other brands, right? So, they, and oftentimes direct to consumer brands have to introduce themselves to the world. People may not have heard of them, they may not have like a, a strong brand reputation. So, I, in my view, the website has to work harder to prove to the world that it's worth buying their product. So if you're going on John Lewis, you don't need to be told, oh, John Lewis has been mentioned in the New York Times. John Lewis doesn't need to tell you that. Um, whereas if you're a brand new or a fairly new um, direct-to-consumer brand that doesn't have that legacy brand associated with you, your site has to work a lot, a lot harder to talk about the product benefits and to explain why your brand is trustworthy. So we'll see there's a common theme across all of these sites the way that they kind of insert trust signals to make people more um, more likely to feel like there's a community of people already purchasing from this site. I'm not the first one to try it. And then the other thing they do is they go they do a really good job of explaining the product benefit or the hook of their product, um, and explain in a, in a lot more detail maybe than a standard non direct to consumer site that already has you know. Um, if it's H&M or Zara or one of those kind of brands, they don't need to necessarily go into as much detail about the product, about what goes into it, how it's made, why it's better than other products. So you'll see there's some real common themes. So let's jump in. So LNDR is a luxury high-end um, leggings black brand, a, a client of ours. Um, so the, one of the common threads I've noticed across all of these sites is this kind of really strong image at the top of the site with a kind of a hook that explains the product benefit. Nothing looks as good as sculpted feels, which you may or may not recognize as a Kate, a kind of retake on a Kate Moss qu quote, which was nothing looks as good as skinny feels. No, n nothing tastes as good as skinny feels or skinny looks, something like that. Anyway, but yeah, quite a clever little play on words there. So really strong photo at the top and really clear kind of USP unique selling point or product benefit hook communicated there then we scroll down there's some things like you know pay later with Kalana so I know that you know this product's expensive but I can pay as I you know pay in little installments they go straight into showing you really great product pictures straight off the bat and you'll see these product pictures are super detailed super like um, high resolution pictures where you can really see the product super well so you can straight away see what this product, what this site is all about, what the USP is, and then you can have a look at certain products. Um, then they are going into a bit more detail about kind of product information, so people can make a choice of like, you know, how long they want their legging, and and start to understand what product options they have. Uh, and then down here, yeah, the, so they specialize in leggings, and there's two types, so they're giving you a bit more detailed information about which one and like look at the amazing detail on the imagery then now we've got the social proof and they've got a bunch of it it looks like yep so they've got a bunch of customer reviews sending me that message that I can trust them and other people love them and then there's a bit here about their mission and they haven't got what I'd call a brag bar with like all of their PR mentions and stuff they're not a brand that does a lot of PR so maybe that's why they've opted not to do that. Um, Brooke Linen here, they, these, these guys are a super successful um, direct-to-consumer uh, sheets and kind of um, like sheets and towels brand. So they've done the same as LNDR. They've got this carousel that's get, that cycles through and each one has a kind of USP, uh, better than your birthday suit. Again, a little bit of a fun play on words, extra cool, extra towels. Again, focusing on the the unique selling point or the hook there. I mean, in this case, the hook is the sale, letting people know about it. And actually, they've made it super clear by having this big bar at the top talking about the sale and counting down for how long you've got to, to act on that sale, which is also a really smart thing to do. It creates urgency. They've led with this um, with this third-party endorsement and the like these mentions from the press. So they've obviously got some really good PR and they've 
put that right up the front of the site again to build trust and make people feel like, okay, this isn't some student selling some stuff from the back of their garage. This is the real deal. Um, a friendly introduction here, some really cool little animations, a little bit of video, really crisp, clear pictures of the product, fantastic. And then here it is again, as always, the social proof, which is awesome. Then more kind of trust builders, lifetime lifetime warranty, stress-free shopping, fair prices, quality products, Obje- objection busting here. I'm worried that, um, you know, the product is going to fall apart, it's going to fray, all of that kind of stuff, or like um, I have questions or I'm worried about, um, you know, who's been impacted in the process of making these. All of that stuff is kind of dealt with there. Objection busting was amazing. And then here I can dig into some products or I can chat to someone. And then this more social proof here, half a million happy customers. I mean, I'm impressed. That's a really big number. And then here they've got their social media, which looks like kind of user-generated type pictures. Again, it's building that, that trust and that feeling that other people are all over these products and I want to kind of be part of this tribe. So really good execution there from Brooklyn in. This is a client of ours, Totter and Tumble. So again, you'll see the big, strong image at the top. And then her USPs or her kind of hooks are the simple, stylish, supportive and safe. So those are the kind of four pillars of her brand that she wants to get across. So that's really strong and then she goes into a bit of kind of information about the product and then straight into like these great crisp pictures of the product and it shows that one of the benefits is this reversible nature of the, of the play mats. Um, a bit about her mission and who she is and why she's done this, a video which is great to see and then again the testimonials are there building that trust that other people have bought this product. Um, and then a bit more, about, yeah, so here she's got, she's leading you to the frequently asked questions. So if you've got questions about it, um, you can kind of get in touch. So, and then there's more content. So again, um, by the end of this page, you've scrolled to the bottom, you know a lot about the product, you know a lot of people are using it, you've seen it in situ, you've seen a video, you can see how you can get in touch. Um, and you can really get a sense that this is like a really quality brand that I can kind of trust and put my trust in giving them my credit card. High Studios, these are a really successful kind of underwear and shapewear brand. Again, strong hook at the top, revolutionary shapewear. So they're really setting themselves apart. They go straight into the social proof here. A bit more about the product, some more imagery, more social proof here. More social proof here. And they've used Trustpilot, which makes it feel more trustworthy because it's like a third party system. Um, yeah, so they've got, and then they've got this bit about their mission, like why they started their business, what they're all about, and then pictures of the product. Um, and uh, and I love this, the highest happiness promise. So if I have any doubts, if I'm worried about this, I've got this, this is going to set, you know, this is going to bust that objection because like, I'm well, I can give, get my money back. So that's a, quite a smart thing to put at the bottom to, if someone's got to the bottom and they've still got doubts, this could really turn them around. Uh, this is Eve Sleep, a direct-to-consumer mattress brand. So bounce out of bed, really cool hook, really cute eye-catching kind of little character there. Straight into the social proof. Don't take our word for it. Eight out of ten customers said they'd sleep better with Eve. Some lovely product imagery there. Um more on the benefits why you would get into this um why you would love this product some social proof in the form of their instagram um probably instagrams from that looks like a famous um person i think it's heidi klum no not heidi klum who's i recognize that person but anyway i think she's famous more social proof in the in the place of the third party endorsement so i'd encourage you if you do have um press mentions or if you're in the process of getting pr it's it's worth putting them on your on your homepage because I think it does build trust, especially if you're fairly new. And then there's more kind of there's different products to choose from. And again, this promise of the money back, life changing sleep or your money back, huge promise. Um, so you sleep on it for two hundred nights, and if not, you can refund it. So a really strong objection buster when they're trying to sell a mattress to someone who hasn't actually tried it. Um, so yeah, really strong page there from homepage from Eve Sleep. Movement Watchers, these guys are huge in the US, taking the world by storm. More of a male-oriented brand, although they do have women's watches, but 
I think it's a bit more of a male brand. Um, again, yeah, so they're kind of driving you straight into the product and into the sale. The USP they are talking about at the moment is the is the sale. Really strong product images, really detailed. Um, and then more kind of options to look at sunglasses, etc. Interestingly, like as a site, maybe they're so big they don't need the social proof on the homepage, but you can see there's actually none. They've got these icons, which are sort of objection busters. They haven't got any press mentions or social proof. Could it be that they are so big now they don't need to, potentially? Um, we could probably look around their site and find that. I mean, if we went on a product page, I think we'd be likely to find they have reviews there. Could be wrong, though. Let's see. 24 month, yeah, reviews are here. So reviews are obviously a really key thing to have on your site to build trust. So 54 reviews of the product. So for people who want to kind of dig deeper and know, oh, not, a, not what I expected, just perfect. Um, and, you know, having the odd negative review is fine. It makes your reviews look more genuine. But, yeah, they've obviously had, sold a lot of product and got a lot of reviews, but reviews are a really good way to build social trust. Um Allbirds, an absolutely massively successful direct-to-consumer brand. Run hard, tread light. Really great hook. Um, so appealing to the runners, positioning themselves as a running shoe, not just a kind of casual shoe. Um, one of their benefits is this carbon footprint being really, um, they're really environmentally conscious. So having this here, like, draws your attention to that hook really straight away. Um, you can dig into their products here straight, you know, dig right in. Again, lovely, clear photography. Explore bestsellers. That's another cool thing to put on there. And then more kind of information about like how, you, you know, if you want to know more about the product, there's that detailed content. We're seeing that across lots of these brands. LNDR, definitely. Brooklyn and as well. Totter and Tumble. For actually, all of them have this much more detailed kind of um, product information that really like helps people to understand what they're buying because remember someone buying online, it's so different from a shop. Whether you're in New York, London, or a small town in Ohio, there's a good chance you've seen this. So yeah, all, all birds in the news. So they've included these kind of press endorsements, which again, we're seeing this across most sites that have it, that have press mentions, they're putting them on their homepage as a way to further build trust. Um, and then this is another client of ours who has been doing amazingly well and has a great conversion rate. Love wear repeat. They're trying to push this idea of um, at the moment we're all during we're we're in lockdown and buying fashion items might not seem like an obvious thing to do, but if you push this message of wearing something again and again, it feels like an investment worth making. Um, and then they dig right into kind of helping people to choose the different products. They've got their social proof in the form of the third-party endorsement from the press. They've got different products and some nice imagery there. Again, quotes from the press, and they've got a whole carousel of these. Having Vogue on there and Stylist is a really big win. They've got a lovely um, topical thing here where they're helping the NHS. Um, and then they go into, again, this thing about going into the product detail so that any questions I might have, um, or objections or things I'm worried about, or things I need to know before I make my decision is dealt with here on the homepage and I can dive in. And then this benefit they have around the traceableness, they've kind of gone right into that and explained so that I feel really comfortable that I'm buying something sustainable as that's one of their kind of key important things. Um, and yeah, another kind of more information about the jumper and then more social proof and then down onto their, they've got their Instagram here so you can see um, a bit more of their kind of personality and their brand personality. So, yeah, a great little site that performs really, really well. So hopefully that little whistle top to stop tour kind of gave you an idea of some things that you might be needing to add to your site, like social proof reviews, um, press endorsements, but also the way they use this really strong imagery and the way they talk about the detail of the product, the kind of technical details, but focusing on the reason for them or the benefit of them. So you'll see all of these sites we've gone through have really talked about benefits rather than 
digging into like super technical features straight away, but maybe um, as supporting evidence for the benefits, going into a bit, a little bit of technical detail for those that want to delve deeper. So yeah, hopefully that was really useful.